Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Magic Origins. Uh, the reason that I'm going to talk about Magic Origins right now, I know it's super early, but my card shop owner wants to know like how much we're going to buy, and it's always really early, and this is the same owner. The last time we purchased cards from him, I purchased actually one case for myself. Uh, my friends, five friends, purchased four cases, and we split it. One of my friends took two cases, another friend the other two friends split a case, so they got like three boxes each. I got my case, which is still, it's heavy because it has cards in it, right? And then like a case of fat packs. I always get a case of fat packs, it's mainly for you guys, um, and the dice, I guess. And then I uh, two, I guess four cases of pre-release kits, which is like 20 pre-release kits. And they're asking how much Magic Origins uh, we want to order. And we were all at Anime Messery anyway, and the the owner was actually also at the convention, and that's kind of why uh, he was asking how much of this stuff you want to order. And to give you like a brief idea of how much we normally order, uh, if it's a good set, it's like RTR, we ordered $10,000 worth of cards, I want to say. It wasn't $10,000, it was... 8,000 in Magic Cards, and then X amount in anime merchandise from a distributed Bushiroll, actually. It actually came from Bushiroll, I believe. Um, oh, and Card 5 Vanguard promos at the time for me. <laughs> I forget. I was like, why do we spend so much money on Bushiroll? I was like, oh, yes, of course, the promos. And so when you look at how much, like, I'm looking at Magic Origins, and I'm saying, oh my goodness, this is a very complicated type of case to try to buy because you have you have modern masters so modern masters I'm making another video and I'm trying modern masters is very simple I'm going to accumulate as much of it as I can uh, for a under a price and I'll talk about that price point and why we picked that price point and I right now I've personally locked down one box of modern masters but that's it no no not one box one case of modern masters I was like one box of modern masters I, it might seem like I'm really tired this week because I am and this is the only time I can really make a video uh, and like I, I'm going to take a nap and then wake up, uh, help my friend take down her booth at Anime Mitsuri and then I'm going to buy like, now is the best time to buy. Sunday when people are taking down their booths is the best time to buy um, other people's stuff and <laughs> I've saved my money. I've tried not to spend money on Saturday so I can buy stuff on Sunday and I think it's going to work but anyway that's another story so I'm going to commit to a case of Magic Origins my friend's going to commit to four cases of it uh, so we're looking at five cases my friends are going to commit to four other cases we're looking at five cases of Magic Origins um, so what is that five cases of Magic Origins times six thirty boxes of it and the reason we decided on this number, and the, the number is a case higher than what we did for Dragons of Tarkir. Uh, and we feel like, the, but it's much, much lower, um, incredibly lower when you compare it to RTR or Conjo Tarkir. RTR, we were able to make, like right now we have like a lot of, not me, because I've opened all of the RTR, but my friend still has a sealed case of it, and the sealed case of RTR goes for a lot of money right now. I have a sealed case of fat packs, and that goes for $280 on eBay, ended auction, and that cost, what did it cost? $180. Yeah, I have to pay shipping, and so like, let's say out of the $280, I get $260 because I'm bad at eBay. And after fees, I get two forty. After shipping, I get two fifteen or two twenty. Um, yeah, let's say I get two hundred. Even at two hundred, when I purchased it for one hundred and eighty, that's not bad. But it's not at two hundred. I feel like it'll be like two hundred twenty-five when it's all said and done. Uh, for it. but obviously, I'm not going to sell on eBay because I'm more likely to buy one at two hundred twenty-five than I am to sell one at two hundred twenty-five. But uh, boxes of RTR are going for a lot of money. They will hold its value because of Abrupt Decay, uh, Death Right Shaman, uh, Shockland are always good. And when you look at something like that, you say to yourself, okay, that's good. But when you have to predict in the future, 
for something like, like Magic Origins, it's kind of hard to predict right now how much of the stuff you want to buy. And we tend to overbuy it. So Dragon Tarkiris, buying four cases of that, in my opinion, was too much. I actually didn't even want a case, uh, given the fact that I already had a case of Fat Packs, and then 20 pre-release kits, I probably should have took half a case, but I was like, whatever, I already ordered a case. So we're pre-ordering Magic Origins, and we're gonna go ahead and order five cases of it. Yeah, five cases, 30 boxes, and we'll probably, we get a lot of like cool stuff worth the boxes in the cases. Um, not relating to Magic, like anime stuff, and uh, because when you buy from at volume, this is the key for any store. The store doesn't do magic. It just doesn't do magic. It doesn't have magic singles. It doesn't have, I mean, it has magic singles, but the only like singles it has is very high end stuff, like cars over a hundred bucks. Uh, Cause the guy doesn't want to, my friend does not want to deal with uh, the pricing that changes every day. He's like, just like, no, I'm just going to buy these expensive cards and put them for display essentially. Um, the place is a video game store. I mean, they sell video game and they sell uh, anime merchandise. And that's what they're like known to sell, but they also, like the same guy who distributes uh, the anime merchandise also distributes magic cards. And so he's able to buy a lot of it minus Modern Masters. Now something very, so again, I'm gonna make another video about it. It seems that Modern Masters is both more limited, but less limited. So I'll explain what that means in another video. Uh, Modern Masters 2015 is now the time to go ahead and try to reserve a case or a box, especially if you want a case of it, because uh, they're going to sell like hotcakes. And even if they produce a ton of it, uh, like I said about the Dragon Tark here, a, a great amount of value comes from that first and second week from trading. Trading your Narsets into Moxes, you know, obviously that's not the trade. Obviously, there's a lot of more stuff, you know. Probably, uh, high, I should have took a picture of the trade, but I, whatever, it was a trade, and I was more concerned about whether or not the card was real, because the card was near mint. It was very mint for a uh, Mox, um, so that's why I was a little concerned. But I had multiple people check it out, um, so it's good. And I'll put it on video so you guys can take a look at the Mox as well. Uh, and that, there's a lot of value uh, for having the set being one of the first people to have the set because then people come, people do need play sets of these cards in the set, especially given that the two places I play at, it's 100% standard. No one has any interest in, um, some people have a little interest in modern, but no one has any interest in legacy or vintage because they're newer players. And then the other place is like a video game place. So like half the people don't even like really play magic. They just, are there Friday night and they want to try something new and they buy a vent deck and they go ahead and play it. So yeah, um, so I'm going to make another video about how I got a case of Modern Masters 2015, the price I got the case at, uh, the price I will buy the case at, um, availability issues of it. Like I'm facing availability issues that really remind me of the first Modern Masters, but also there's more, they're going to reload. And that's something that the first Modern Masters, they never expressed that to the store owners that they could reorder as soon as they ran out. Uh, but again, another video. Bye guys.